Welcome to day 505. It's Monday, April 30th, 2012. The last day of April. My God, this month and year has really flown by. Just a few minutes after noon here, I'm going to be heading back to the office in two or three minutes. I came home. I actually had to get the spare key for the car. Whenever I go and I drop the car off for a little bit for service, I like to take my secondary key. I just have... I don't have any house keys on there. I don't have my little M thing. This is my primary key set, just the regular key for the car, a couple house keys, bike lock key, and the carbon fiber M thing. But when I take the car in, I like to just give them this one, which just has that and one key. So I came back and got that because the struts are going on at 2.30. Um, I'll probably have the car by 5 this afternoon, I hope. Um, so I'm going to meet my grandfather over there. And I actually forgot my camera here at home this morning. It was upstairs in the office. It took me a while to find it. I was uh, making copies of the bills and the receipts and stuff for my grandfather. He has a complete record like I do for the car, almost as good. And uh, he wanted that. So I was up there last night at like 11 o'clock doing that, whatever. So I'm home now. Today was supposed to rain all day and, and be the 73, uh, but the warm front isn't blowing in until 4 or 5 tonight. So right now it's only about 55. And the sun was out a few minutes ago. We've got some blue sky up there and it rained a little bit this morning. But uh, that's all right, because look how green everything is. Those maple trees have really shot up over there. It looks awesome. And this is the mulching that I did last night from that bush over there all the way over here to the front door. Uh, so if it stays dry and the sun comes out this afternoon, then maybe I'll hit that and take it over to that big pine tree. There's what we got done yesterday. Sanded the patio and blasted. The, it's wet right now, so it doesn't look as good. But that's now white instead of black. Got some furniture out there. Still have to bring the umbrella stand out that goes underneath the table. And then we have a uh, chase lounge that goes over there, and I'll do that later. So with that, I'm going to have to go find my sunglasses somewhere. They're not on my head this time. And uh, maybe they're here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm headed back now. All right, guys. 222, and it's turned into a beautiful day. It's 76 degrees. It's pretty humid. It feels awesome. A um, couple clouds up there, but it's not bad. I'm just going to be dropping the car off here in a minute. Just pulling into the parking lot now. There's either going to be a smart car or a Genesis. Oh yeah, there's the smart car. So we'll drop this off and get the struts put on. Well, I don't think these are the dens. There's lots of them. They'll be out. Oh yeah. They'll they, be out by Wednesday or Thursday. They sell a lot. <laughs> it's one way to clean a fountain. Dinner time. Yeah, buddy, there's dinner. Hey, that was awesome. Had a really, really good Monday today for some reason. It was a nice day. It was supposed to rain. It's it's kind of just started raining now. And I'm out here in the sunroom listening to some music, talking to a bunch of people online, and uh, chilling out with uh, that. And it's still like 68 degrees. And it's raining, but I don't care. I'm going to go out and walk in the rain, talk to you guys for a few minutes. Um... They said it was going to take two hours with the car, and I dropped it off at, what time did I drop it off? 2.30. I was there a little early, of course, knowing me, and my grandfather's there like 20 minutes early. But uh, we dropped off the car, and they called probably 30 minutes later, and they said, all right, we got everything taken apart. We took a look at your rotors, and the rotors are warped, or they were warped, um, because one of the front, the front left strut had essentially failed, and it was not doing what it's supposed to do in terms of its suspension ideology. Um, so that caused unnecessary pressure and forces on the brakes when you hit the brakes. It's, it just wasn't working right, which caused the rotors to warp. So they asked me, you know, hey Ryan, you know, there's a chance we take these off, we machine them, and we, we turn the rotors for you. There's a chance they break and you're going to need new rotors. And of course that's the chance. You take that chance when you turn rotors. And I said, well, all right, 20 bucks a piece, you might as well give it a shot. So that worked fine. The uh, braking vibration is gone. I had it at um, eight, between 80 and 90 miles an hour today on the highway and hit the brakes and it was crystal smooth and they feel way more powerful. It throw, it, that car has great brakes on it. Um, so that's good. That's fixed. They got the struts on. The struts feel really good. It handles really tightly. Uh, it feels like what I would imagine a new car to feel like. You know, driving the Hyundai, that felt pretty tight, but it's not tweaked as tightly as a BMW is. So anyways, it feels really good. However, there's a problem. As good as it feels, it sounds just as bad. I don't know what they did. I would have filmed it, but you wouldn't be able to hear when I stick the camera out the window. You just get wind noise in the microphone. 
it sounds like there's an old swing set in the front of my car right now. It's between 20 and 50 miles an hour. Squeak, squeak, squeak from both front wheels. It's really bad. So I'm going to take it in tomorrow and say, hey, you know, what the hell? Uh, I think they tightened something up too much or there's something rubbing against the rotor. I don't know. Uh, I drove it 30 miles today in hopes that it would kind of work itself out and it didn't. And I am soaking wet now. But uh, I'm going to take it in tomorrow afternoon, just drop it off, say, hey, um, please take a look at this. And hopefully they'll take it apart and find something wrong and put it back together and it'll be fine. If not, then I'm going to have to take it to Jeff's and Canton. That guy's really good down there with BMWs. Or take it to the dealer and waste 100 bucks on labor. But uh, after I get that fixed, it, it handles and drives really well. So today was mostly a, mostly a success. Hopefully we'll just figure that out tomorrow. So it was 80 degrees today on the last day of April. I cannot believe April's gone. What is up with this? And we're looking at just an hour, a half hour left of April now. Uh, April was a really good month. I had a good month. May should be good too. I'm graduating May 30th and everything, most things with that are good. Having a graduation party in June. We're working out details and announcements and stuff for that. But it, it, I could sit out here now with all these windows open. It's beautiful. And when the weather's nice and warm and I can drive with windows down and not hear the squeaking, hopefully tomorrow, um, it's just really nice. So tomorrow's supposed to be sunny and like 68. And that means it'll be 75 if they keep their accuracy up. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. This whole week is going to be in the 70s and 80s, like 84 Wednesday and Thursday. Um, and I've got some mowing to do, and I've got some good money coming in, over $250 just this week mowing, so that's good news. Getting closer to buying that uh, GPS display on the car within a month or two. Now, I'm not really in a big hurry, but that will get done. So um, I think I'm just going to wrap this up now. As I said a million times, it was a good day. hope you guys had a good day. And yesterday's vlog. A couple people said they had their speakers up, listened to the cars, and trust me, it's, it's orgasmic. I love the sound of Ferraris. But I, I kind of meant to edit that out when I came back in, and I didn't. So I apologize for that if you had your speakers up and there's kids around. Oops. So I'm just going to talk with Bobby a little bit, edit this together, go upstairs, take a shower, and that ends Monday already. And this should be a pretty decent week. Don't really have a lot going on in my classes this week. Um, so tomorrow I'll just take it over and tell them to fix it and I'll let you know how that goes. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow on Tuesday, another beautiful day here in Ohio. Good night.